And hello and welcome to Hindsight Tonight. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, the boardroom for the company Weight Watchers just got lighter last week. The weight loss company announced that Oprah Winfrey will be stepping down from the board of directors after she revealed that she is taking prescription weight loss drugs. I mean, we get it, you shouldn't promote the competition. That's like driving a Tesla to work at the GM factory. But let's be honest here, did anyone on earth think that Oprah was only eating Weight Watchers food for the last decade? If they did, the results haven't exactly been a PR bonanza. She's ambiguously brought the term yo-yo back into our lexicon. But she is under a doctor's care. It's not like they raided her home and found those god-awful Richard Simmons deal-a-meal cards under her pillow. The only one losing weight here was Weight Watchers itself. Their stock dropped 20% off Oprah's announcement. Surprising that a diet drug did what years of snuggling up to Harvey Weinstein and numerous book club scandals couldn't do. Hey, did you know when the National Organization for Women was founded in 1966, they actually had a man on their board of directors? You didn't see Richard Graham step down when he had to admit to the world that he owned a penis, did he? What? I know, outrageous, right, Oprah? Speaking of dick moves, the Supreme Court this week quietly announced that it would hear arguments in the DOJ case against Donald Trump to decide once and for all if he interfered with the 2020 presidential election. No rush, right? Special Counsel Jack Smith asked them to rule on this issue back in December, but the neglectful nine sandbagged the request for two months, and now they won't hear any arguments until late April. Then, a ruling would probably come down sometime in June, and any trial against Trump isn't expected to start until the fall, with the possible verdict being rendered after the November election. Conveniently. For reference, the last presidential election issue that SCOTUS took on was Bush versus Gore in 2000, they accepted that case and rendered a decision in just three days, so it's not like this crew can't move quickly. But then, three of the nine justices in 2000 weren't personally appointed by Donald J. Trump like it is today. Flash Slothmore can move faster than this group. For that matter, Joe Biden can move faster. On Monday, he ate ice cream with Seth Meyers and hinted at a Gaza war ceasefire in less than a week. Side note, can Seth Meyers be more in love in this image while tenderly gripping his cone? After scores of Gaza Palestinians were killed waiting for food, the president then had to walk his comments back on Friday. Uh, Gaza cease fire? No, folks, I said Gaza cease fire. Then on Saturday, Israel went against Biden again and now agreed to a cease fire. What a mess. The latest New York Times poll shows that most of the nation really dislikes both candidates, which is no surprise. But as a country, we seem powerless to do anything about it. But wait and watch. And that's your news. Have a great week. If you like this episode, let us know, and I'll see you next Sunday with Fresh Hindsight.